want you to say hello to my little buddy here. Say hello. And I'll show you the rest of it right now. It's made out of a desk lamp uh, that you can buy at many places and um, a couple other parts and allows you to make a fully articulated stand that you can move around and do all kinds of goofy stuff. But it also has a secret ninja power that we'll talk about in just a few minutes. So hang on. This thing is super easy to build and let me show you how. First of all, you're going to need a few parts here. Uh, first of all, it's an adjustable task lamp here available from your favorite big box retailer. Next thing you need is a, a bolt-on mic uh, stand adapter. And you can buy these at uh, Sam Ash or places like this. What they're designed for is to bolt onto a lectern or something, and then you can mount a, a mic holder onto this, like a gooseneck mic stand or something. And they're pretty cheap, so you need one of those. Next thing you need to get, and I am, um, you can get these at Sam Ash, and you can get them at other places as well, is a ball head for it with a standard camera mount on it that's designed to screw onto a mic stand, okay? So it's going to go on this guy right here. And the next thing you need to have, and let's make sure we get this right here. I got my handy dandy thing. You need uh, a couple of bolts. These are three 30 second bolts, or you can also use, um, let's see here on the other side, for those metric people, four millimeter. Uh, bolts and heads and these are approximately let's see here um, looks like about a half an inch long all right so here's what we're going to do first thing to do is take this thing out of the box okay so here we are we've got our pieces parts now and uh, we're going to go ahead and put this guy together so the parts that we're really interested in is look right here on the back of this thing we see a couple of um, Phillips, uh, Phillips head screws right here we need to go ahead and take those out so Let's get a screwdriver and let's screw those out. All right, so we got this guy um, disattached now. And here's the bad news. What we have to do is um, we got to go ahead and remove this wire. So we're going to need a pair of wire cutters. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just cut this guy off right here. And uh, actually, I'll cut it off down here and see if I can thread it through and stay part of it. All right. One of the things to watch for when you work with these is there will be a little strain relief here that you might have to take off to get them to go. You can use a pair of needle nose pliers to pry them out, like so. Like so. Okay, so there, there's no one right there. We just grab it and give it a little twist and it pops right off. Okay, sweet. So now we've got this guy done. Next thing we can do is see this piece of curved metal right here? Uh, see it right there. What we have to do is bend that straight. So we're going to use Mr. Um, needle nose pliers here to do that. Ah. Okay, so here we go. And what we want to do is we want to bend this guy and we want to take it easy with it and we just want to bend it so that it's as straight as we can get it so that it's not curved anymore. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy right here and we're going to bolt it on here. Okay, like so. And again, this is pretty flat now, so I think we're okay with that. So you thread up, so you go ahead and you thread a bolt through there and you feed it through. Okay, like so. Okay, and then go ahead and take a nut and tighten it down on there, but don't tighten it all the way because this is going to fit a little funny at first until we tighten everything down. You, what you have to do now is you have to finesse this other one on because it's not going to want to go straight on. You're going to have to sort of work with it a little bit. Come back here, you. And the way I did it, and that's why using these longer bolts is handier, is you sort of do like that. You sort of pull it away and then you work it in place. Okay? And then we got our bolt here for this guy, which I thought I might have lost, but evidently I'm a lucky man. No, come back here, you. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take a screwdriver here, and we're going to go ahead and tighten these down. Okay, tighten, 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 tighten. Okay, and do the same thing over here. Okay. And again, you can continue now on this side right here to tighten these guys down with a pair of pliers or something, and it's going to push it in even more. So you can alternate between using 
alternate between using a screwdriver and then also using something like a pair of pliers here to sort of turn these guys around as well and just continue to screw this down and that's really what you want to do because you don't want any gaps here you want to go ahead and get it to the point where it just completely flattens out alright so cool alright so we're done with that next thing is we can go ahead and put our put our uh, you know, our lamp together like so and we'll go ahead and thread this guy on here okay so there we are okay so that last thing is we want to put if we want to put a webcam on we can totally do that I'm using, this is a agent uh, 5 uh, webcam it's got a standard camera mount on it if you have a, a different kind of webcam you can still make this work hold on one second and you can drill a hole in the base of it, like I've done right here, with this, uh, um, let's see, PlayStation 3, I, I, you know, I connect or whatever the stupid thing is. Oh, PlayStation I. Um, and this is a webcam that can be used with a uh, open source webcam driver, Mac Cam, um, and it works fine for that. But again, all I did was just drill the hole, all I did was drill the hole in the base of it so that I could bolt it onto this guy, like so. And what you want to do is go to a hardware store, buy yourself a one quarter inch bolt with a wing nut or just a regular nut, and basically screw this guy on here and it'll stay on. And there we are. And it's all articulated and all that. Looks like a little, looks like almost like a Luxo Junior, doesn't it? Okay, so there's one last thing you can do with these guys that's really super crazy handy. And uh, what that is, is let me go ahead and take this camera off just so I can deal with this a little better. Okay, so what we're going to do now, remember this is a microphone, standard microphone mount thing. Okay, so we can put a microphone mount in there, like so. All right. Like so. Okay, I've got this threaded in. So I can go ahead and I can put a microphone in there now. So I've got a mic stand as well. I can tighten this guy down so it won't be so dippy. Okay, and there you are. Hey, there you go. Like so. So now you got yourself an adjustable mic stand as well that you can use for exciting podcasting and recording stuff and things like that. Okay? So anyway, it works as that, but even more importantly, it works as a really sweet little device for mounting a web camera. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you go make one of these guys. Say goodbye. Hello, goodbye. All right, goodbye. <laughs>